What is going on everybody? Welcome back to GTA Online and in this video we will be taking a look at the Anise Euros which is basically a Nissan 370Z and this is another car we have all been waiting for instead of going after, well that is a 350Z, in the actually Arena War which I'm sure everybody's looking for this car to be added so let's go modify it right now. Alright guys, so let's see what we can do with this car here. So obviously throw the armor on there, brakes, let's see, bumpers. Alright, so there's four different bumpers to throw on. Let's see, not a huge fan of, well, honestly, any of those. Um, I'm going to leave those off for now. Rear bumpers, let's see. Pretty interesting. I like that street bumper, looks pretty cool on there. Let's go with that one. Moving over, we have the chassis upgrade here, so roof scoops, all right. Not really sure if I'm a huge fan of how these look on there. I might leave these off to be 100% honest, but they do look interesting if I do say so myself. Most people probably aren't gonna really put these on there because most people are probably gonna make this car look like the one from Tokyo Drift. Headlights, cover the headlights, okay. Kind of interesting, oh wow. I mean, that is honestly pretty dope how you can do that. Like, I do think that is pretty cool. You can put the colored headlight glass on there. Awesome addition there. Engine block. All right, so this car does have some uh, detail as well, which is great. Oh, titanium looks interesting. I'm not going to lie. The carbon looks freaking dope. Let's go with carbon on there. Rails. All right, let's check this out. There's 11 different ones you can throw on here. Maybe I should go with full carbon setup on this thing, shouldn't I? Yeah, look pretty awesome. Yeah, let's go with that. Moving over to strut brace. Did I just go full carbon on this thing? Is that what we're doing? Engine upgrades. Let's move on to exhausts. You know I'm probably going to have to go with the titanium. Ooh, those look good too. Oh, those are nice carbon exhausts. Like, nice little yellow ring around them. Those are nice. Okay. Yeah, to be 100% honest, I'm going to have to go with these. Th that just looks really cool. Front fenders, alright. See, so yeah, as we can make it look like a Tokyo, Tokyo Drift car if you would like. Personally, I probably might end up leaving this thing stock, though. Um, not sure if I'm going to really touch it. Although that does look pretty dang cool, I'm not going to lie. I'll leave that off for now, but those are the fenders. Moving over to the hoods. Well, catches for that matter. Different colored uh, pins there. Probably leave the pins off as well, even though they don't look too bad. Hoods, let's check these out. I think a carbon hood wouldn't look too bad on here if it looked, you know, the right one obviously would fit it. Oh, that's pretty cool. The transparent hoods are very, very cool. I think they did a very good job with that. Very cool addition. So I think I'm going to end up going with the, I'll go with the carbon hood on there, move over, we don't need horns, interior, dash, let's see, Look, you can strip it there, I'm going to go with that one, carbon fiber there, doors, they're just like the doors on the previous cars you can throw on there, honestly, we'll go with the lightweight flock door there, seats, Do a carbon. Let's go to the carbon seat there. I don't know what's mean carbon with this car, but it's working, I guess. We'll go with that for racing wheel there. And here are this. Maybe actually be able to see them better. Oh, this. Okay, here's the uh, roll cages there. Pretty cool. Secondary full cage. So a good amount of cages, obviously, to put on there. Reinforced, huh? I'm gonna have to go with uh, the street cage probably on there. Looks pretty cool. Moving on, we could do the headlights there. Make those uh, Exion lights. Liveries, check these out here. So there's the stripes there. Pretty interesting. I love how they did the liveries on the cars, and I've heard they've also added liveries to other vehicles as well. Pretty cool. So those are the liveries. I'm probably not going to put that on either, although some people probably will end up throwing them on there. But nothing wrong with that, especially if they make the car look good. Little carbon mirrors, let's see. Plate, not too much there. Alright, respray. So what color should we go with this vehicle? Um I don't know, I'm kinda thinking a uh 
Not red or... We don't need to go blue. What about like a... Uh, maybe... I'm gonna look. Make this car a little different of a color. Yellow doesn't look too good on there. I don't really like how that looks. Midnight green doesn't look too bad. Looking through the colors here. Maybe just a normal blue color there. Looks pretty nice. Let's go with a blue color. Pearlescent color. Surf blue, huh? I'm gonna go up here and put that black just so I can make the secondary color different. Make it look a little different there. Let's see. Secondary color. Let's see. Yeah, so that's black. It also changes the uh, calipers as well. That's pretty cool. I did like a... Uh, what if I made it like a red? Like a red accent on there or something like that. Similar to what I did with the uh, Coleco. Let's see. See, that looks pretty cool. But I don't know if I want to go with red. I think it um, doesn't complement it as well. Let's go with... I'm going to leave that black there. Let's move on. Trim color. Obviously, probably for seats. Yeah, seats. Black there. Leave that regular as well. Moving over to the roof. So the roof upgrades seem to be kind of normal. The ridge actually looks pretty cool there. Moving over to these. That roof, that actually looks good. Let's put that on there. And that is the next one. And then finally, you can make it carbon as well. Skirts. See, so that's actually good. That actually looks pretty good on there. Like, I like that. So I'm going to put that on there right now. But move over to these, though. Just to show them, see what they actually look like. See, these don't look too bad on the car. They kind of fit it. Just sometimes you just don't fit it right if the, like, the fitment isn't there, honestly. Splitters. Okay, so this was kind of waiting for a little bit. See, like, that looks good. Let, let, whoo, let's go with that. All right, moving over to these. They all still look pretty cool, but I'm going to go with the carbon arc splitter there. I like how that looks. Spoilers. Let's put a spoiler on this thing, too, shall we? It's not whatever that is. See, that, that, well, that's probably what the spoiler would originally go on. Let's put that on there. Let's take a look at the other ones as well, though. There's a lot of Arc and Mark II splitters there. Wow. See, spoilers don't look bad. They did a pretty dang good design with the spoilers. See, that actually looks pretty good on there. I'm going to leave this one on there, though, for the record right now. Moving over to Sun Strips. Probably not going to put these on it either. Going down the suspension, let's lower this thing all the way to the ground. Transmission, turbo. All right, let's go check out the wheels here. Maybe put street wheels on this. Might look pretty good. First thing you need to find, there's the rims I was looking for. So maybe we should throw on something like... See, those look pretty cool. Let's put those on there for now, but let me go look through them anyway. Those look pretty nice as well. And so do those. Those look good too, but I think I'm going to leave the current rims on there currently. Let's see what they look like colored. Yeah, see that looks pretty nice. Kind of digging that. Tires, let's go bulletproof design. We can go, let's go yellow. Leave the tire smoke there, and then let's move on to the uh, window. Let's go slight uh, window tint there. And there it is, guys. There is my, well, 370Z for that matter. Uh, let's go drive this thing and see what this thing does. Uh... The Anise definitely looks like a pretty awesome car. This is one of the cars I'm sure a lot of people will definitely pick up. So guys, arriving outside again with the Anise uh, Euros here. This thing looks pretty awesome. Let's listen to it rev up. So that kind of sounds like a generic rev up there, um, which I'm sure most people agree with. Let's go see how this thing drives now. So it's going to be rear wheel drive. Good reasoning. Can you see how fast it's going there? So acceleration seems pretty decent on it so far. Um, so this thing can take this turn here. Acceleration seems all right. This is in the sports category, but I have a feeling that uh, Celico will probably destroy this thing in a race, but it doesn't seem like it's the quickest there. So it's doing around 100. Then again, sometimes the cars don't feel fast. Let's see, I'm looking, trying to zoom in on the speed there. So 130 bumps, looking like it's doing over 130 there, depending on how you hit the bump there. So, I mean, it's accelerating pretty damn well for what it is, guys, and I almost ran into that car. Um, overall, though, I mean, I must say it's... I mean, it's pretty dang fast for what it is. Um, I know some cars are probably faster than others on this matter, but uh, this car might not be the best in, street, in the sports class, but hey, it's a new car in the class and definitely worth a shot looking at. More of an icon vehicle and definitely something to drive around in because we all wanted this car added to the game for a long time because most people got tired of seeing the arena vehicle around and taking the armor off and all that kind of got frustrating. 
overall looks pretty good. Let's open this thing up real fast here and pull over and see how it looks. See if I can get my interaction menu open. All right, vehicle. Let's see. Let's see how this thing looks. A quick look at it here. So obviously all the cars come with the hydraulics now, if you guys are wondering, because they can all lower in the car meets. And there's the engine looking. I like really like how they actually did the engine upgrade, so it looks cool. I do really like that. That is for the 370Z there, guys. They definitely did a great job with customization on these, making them look good. I do really like what they did with them. I think a good way to test this thing out is to take it on that highway in San Andreas over there and see how it does. So I'm going to head over there right now, guys, and test this thing out. And if you're wondering what this car is for its drivetrain, most likely going to be rear wheel, but we could do a quick little test on that. As you guys can see right there, the car is rear wheel drive. So guys, arriving at the highway over here, wow. Well, Alright guys, arriving at the highway over here in San Andreas, let's see what this thing can do on flat ground. So honestly guys, this car does seem pretty quick, I'm not saying it's slow. Definitely much faster than the other car that I was driving before, the RS3 looking car. But honestly, this thing definitely seems faster than that obviously. So here I'm already doing 110, so this thing does accelerate to around 120 it looks like, let's see. So it looks like most of the new vehicles do around 120 or so, sometimes a little more depending on the road. And in the city, sometimes they can do like almost 140, some do over 140, which is insane. But overall, guys, looks like I can hold 120 on the highway here with no issues. Um, on the way here, it was going down a little under 120, but it was staying around there. Pretty decent, and as you see there, it's holding there pretty decently. So this is a flat ground test on this car, and it's still doing pretty dang well. Overall, this car seems pretty fast, and the Anise Euros guy is definitely a car to worth going after, especially if you know it is a 370Z, and who's not going to want this car, honestly, just for cruising around. Because it does look really good, they did a great job at designing this thing. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. 